one of the things that happened, you know, when this battle was going on is Rick Ross gets jumped. Where? Oh. Out yeah. in Canada. Whose fault is that? It's security. Mm, let me see. I'm going to talk shit about your number one star. One of your, one of your number one stars. Then I'm going to go to your country and play the song that's whooping his ass and casually walk like nobody's going to touch me because I'm a fake gangster. In order to do that, you got to have nuts like this and walk with no security guard. When the first puff pull up, you got to knock his ass out. And stomp on his face if you're gonna do that kind of shit. But you say, oh man, they just some can Canadians. Okay. Get you some, give me some popcorn. If you're not built like that, you better take motherfuckers who's built like that. That's like me going to Compton and saying, DJ Quick. I wish I wish he would come out here on grip. He not even going to touch you. You get molly whopped wherever you stand. You're not going to leave there. You are disrespecting his home, his turf. You go into the lion's den and you not a lion? You just a monkey cat? What's those big monkey cats? They be real big and they real friendly. They look like they're big. They Have you been to Africa? No, no, never been. One thing about Africa, the animals know you not an animal. When they looking at you, like, oh, this bitch ass. He want to take some pictures. The lions ain't even trying to fuck with you like, this bitch ass nigga going to get out of the car and come take a picture. And you know who kills people? They worry about the lions. You know who kills people in Africa? The hippos. Nobody sees the hippos. Cause they built like that. You can sell that. It's, it's, it's amusing. It sounds great. All that shit sounds great. I'll sell cocaine, I'll whoop for the bag, but I'll just get it. I'll whoop your way. Okay. Here comes a hippo. What's a hippo? <laughs> a bing bow, bing bow. <laughs> you can't do that, man. So you think Rick Ross just wasn't ready for the beef, man? He, he not I don't think like he's that. built like that. He's not a fighter. He's not he's not built like that. See, back in the day, these rappers used to fight for real. They go in somebody's section, they they fighting for real. But now it's all it's all Instagram. Now and a lot of them killing each other. But if they had hands, they could fight and live another day. Like, you know, I don't want to kill you, dude. I just want to prove a point. I don't hate you. Also, one of the things that I've seen since our last interview was you kind of went off on Stephen A. Smith. Oh, yeah. Over OJ. It's kind of like the same thing with Diddy. Is like, OJ was... 
found innocent. Okay. I see the talent inside of you dribbling up like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> OJ was found innocent. He was found innocent. That's a fact. That's all I want to keep it at. I don't want to hear motherfuckers like, but I think he did. I don't give a fuck what you think. He was found innocent. So either we go to court or we just let you let you tell us what you think. Like that's fucked up that that's his. You know? That's fucked up. Cause as a black man, you never you always guilty. Always guilty. The one time he built beat played their game, you still I still believe he did it. And not coming from an old soup lips motherfucker like Steven. Like motherfucker, who, who, whose team you on? Well, one of the things that I seen that you said, and you said that he misquoted oh him and Jay Z both misquoted. OJ. Yes. Yes. Can, can you dive into that a little bit? Well, the, the quote was, I'm not black, I'm OJ. What he was saying was, don't judge me by everybody. We're not all black in one thing. I'm OJ. And that quote came from something. I forgot what it was. This white lady was asking him, he says, no, I'm OJ. Indiv individuality. Five black people in the room, we ain't all the same. We not all the same. They not like us. You can't just group a bunch of, well, you know, so you, no, I'm, oh, I, I created marketing for athletes, commercials for athletes. I'm not saying I'm not black. I'm just saying I'm more than black. I'm OJ. That's what Dr. King was saying. Not by the color of their skin, but in the context of who they are. That's all he was saying. Yeah, I'm just regular. If he said that wasn't cool, I'm just a regular nigga. What? And so you had a real problem with every the Stephen A. Smith was still kind of putting that on OJ even after he died. He's putting it on OJ and he's like trying to say OJ never did anything for us. Are you stupid? My neighborhood is one of the top Heisman Trophy winners in San Diego. The first one was Marcus Allen. Marcus Allen lived down the street from me. His, his father was my baseball coach. To see him and OJ together, you know what that does to a black kid in San Diego? Oh, shit. He's with OJ. Marcus Allen. He grew up down the street. I know him. Really? And for, for Stephen A. Smith, never, he, he never, he's he not even a, he not even a sportsman. This mother can't play hopscotch. For, for him, to talk shit, I don't know why. How does he get that job? You're not a sport. You know, you never played anything, but you got a job judging sports people, commenting on shit. You, I might as well do it. Yeah, I do it, but my stomach. I can run the four forty in three days. How are you judging? Men who do live and die on the gridiron and you've never even walked on that mother 
to take a hit. You never dunked a basketball. He was that kid with the long white socks. His father would bring, can you please teach my son how to be black, how to dunk the ball? Nobody was with him as a kid. But you gonna comment on greatness? I wasn't there. I don't know what the. I know. I know the the people said OJ didn't do it. They don't even. What's the boy now in 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 in, in, in Florida Zimmerman? They don't even comment Zimmerman. on this bitch. He shot a kid cold blooded. They don't ever say that damn Zimmerman. Shot a mother, a kid, 16 year old kid, 17. Have they ever went back on that? It is sucking lips, mother. <laughs> oh, oh, Jay, oh, Jay. He's absolutely right. He's not black, he's OJ. He's different. But he will be treated like a. Don't nothing affect a white black man like a white woman tears. Okay, I'm not. I'm not sure where to go with that one. Listen, that's what that's all about. OJ did it. OJ did it. No, this time, OJ had some other tears. Like no, he didn't. The evidence say he didn't. Can I tell you a story? Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> there once was a slave owner. And randomly, he would take a slave. And they would bound him from his hands, his knees, his feet. They would bound him all up in rope. Then the other slaves would dig a hole. And they would put him in a hole just up to this, this right here. Right? Up to up this ch chest. Right? The slave owner would get on a horse and take like a putting wedge and he would try to try to knock his head off. That was the game. So one time the slave is in his uh hole and he's galloping toward him. He takes down misses and he falls off balance and falls off his horse, almost breaks his leg. He stood up, and you know what he said? Fight fair, nigga. Do you understand that? Yep. They not like us. We have to fight bounded. We have to fight in a hole. The world against us. And when they lose, they still tell us, you ain't fighting fair. That's OJ. We, Monique said she was blackballed. Bitch, you was blackballed when you started. You didn't pass no burly gates. You blackballed when you started. We are not supposed to be Jack Johnson. We're not supposed to be Buffy. Play fair. Fight fair. Fight fair. That's what the that's what the government is telling them. Fight fair. They started it with Bill Cosby. They literally said. He was raping bitches in 1648. Said white people was too scared to press charges on Bill Cosby. What? Black people couldn't even drink out of, of, of water. But then they have this place called, they want to talk about debauchery. The Playboy Mansion. What do you think they're doing in the Playboy Mansion? I 
I, I mean, I would assume there's probably a lot of sex happening there. You think? And it's nasty. The pool is nasty. It's nothing but sperm and dirt. And that, <laughs> when I went, it was at the end of it, this heyday. I was like, this is nasty. I smell feet. This is nasty. Fight fair, nigga. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.